Hey guys, Craig Pigrick here again, and I'd like to introduce you to one of the nicest backpacks I've ever seen. Now, it's a generalized backpack, but it can do some pretty neat things. For one, it can actually conceal carry a rifle. It's very good as a general day pack, as well as I'm sure you can probably make it into an overnight pack. This is the Everly Stock S34 Secret Weapon. Now, the S34 is an internal frame backpack. This is the very first one that I've ever used. Uh, normally, I'm used to the Alice frame backpack, which is external. It's heavy. You can carry a lot of weight, but it's not very comfortable. Uh, in fact, I give all the old vets from the 70s, the 80s, all the credit in the world because those were rough packs to walk around with. Now, this one uses traditional aluminum stays on each side that you can actually bend to the contour of your back. Uh, you definitely want either someone else looking out for you or if you're experienced enough make sure you can use a mirror to tell where you actually need to contour the pack. Uh, the actual pack itself has very very nice super thick cushioning on it as well as on the uh, kidney pads. The yoke itself here can actually be adjusted up and down per user. Uh, the Everly stock backpacks usually ride a lot taller than most backpacks because they're actually riding on your hip not on your butt which helps with blood flow you can walk a lot longer because you're not having all that weight on your butt like some of the other backpacks out on the market it also uses a plastic sheet for support on the back now in the front here this whole area is expandable <clears throat> it's a lot more civilian friendly than some of the other uh, tactical backpacks out there. There's not a whole lot of molly webbing on the outside to say, hey, this guy has something else in here besides his lunch or toiletries for walking out on the trail. You've got side zippers here where you can actually place the kidney pads in which is a nice feature if you just want to use it as a, a smaller backpack. The bottom has a rain fly that can cover the whole backpack up to keep it nice and dry. Uh, standard rain fly I think is in, it's more of a coyote tan than uh, flat dark earth. <clears throat> when you come to the main compartment which is known as the uh, public compartment, you have water resistant zippers going all the way up the sides nice big zippers now inside here you have enough room in your main compartment for two water bladders uh, I've got a three liter as well as a two liter bladder lots of pals webbing on here for whatever you need I actually have a uh, small med kit here it's not a full blown out one but it's good enough for trail riding. This is also more of a, uh, a get home bag, so I only have enough of supplies here for 24 to 48 hours. Uh, more medical supplies in here, as well as more, more PALS webbing for things like lights, uh, ammo, and whatnot. <clears throat> One of the problems that I've had because I'm a taller guy is when I'm wearing this backpack, the uh, hydration bladders that I use, the hoses aren't that long, so unfortunately the actual mouthpiece is roughly just at mouth level because this pack rides so high. I'm kind of not used to that, but I, I got adapted to it pretty well. Uh, we did a 14 mile hike today and this held up very nicely.
We better not see Bigfoot in this video or I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> now here's a nice part about this backpack. It has a private compartment. And this, this is where the money is worth on this backpack. And this is also the reason why they call it the secret weapon. Uh, a good example of why you wouldn't want to walk around with a gun case is because there's a lot of crybaby liberals that see a gun case and instantly call the cops, like what happened locally to us. Uh, Plus, if you're a private person, if you have something like some NFA items where you don't want people knowing that you have cer certain weapons, it's not really smart to be walking around with a gun case. So, in this main compartment, the private one, which is actually where the vast majority of the storage space is, you have <coughs> a full length space in here where you can mount an 11 and a half inch barreled AR. Now on their site they say 11 inch and you can see here I have the stock fully collapsed on it and it has roughly about a half inch of space. Uh, obviously if you have a different type of flash hider or muzzle brake that's a little bit longer than the A2 design it's probably going to run over and you're going to have issues. Now, 10 and a half inch barrel AR, I'm sure, has no problems. Uh, you can also fit in a side folding or under folding AK 47, including the AK with the 74 muzzle brake, that big long ass one. I actually have enough storage in here for two MREs, so there's plenty of bottom storage here, more PALS webbing. I'm actually going to put mag carriers on here. Uh, this one will fit perfectly a three mag carrier and it'll be nice and low profile. On the other side here, you actually have true built-in mag carriers for your standard AR mags, which fit very, very nice and snug. They also have retention straps for them. This also has storage devices for pens. Uh, I've also seen those little tiny squirt bottles for um, sun tan lotion and bug spray they'll fit really nice in here there's about an I, I'd say about an 8 inch cavity in here I have just spare socks and underwear just in case uh, there's also a, another zippered area in here that has about 5 or 6 inches of room where I like to store my wallet uh, there's also a nice key ring here so that you can attach your keys hands-free and it's out of the way. Now, before you guys get all up in arms, I, I want to say this. You really have to check your state and local laws when it comes to holding and carrying a concealed rifle or shotgun. Now, even though you have your concealed carry permit, like here in PA, we have a concealed weapons permit. It doesn't say anything about pistols on the permit itself. So, you can potentially carry a loaded firearm. However, standard law says you can't go carrying around a concealed rifle. <clears throat> now, this option that I really like you can have the capability of carrying your rifle with this magazine lock. Now this right here in, in PA law it says that you can't carry your rifle and your magazine in the same space because they're afraid that you could easily load it. Well with a magwell lock like this there's no doubt in their mind that you can't get around in the chamber. It actually blocks the bolt back so you can't open the rifle up itself. You can't insert a magazine and you can't load one individually into the chamber. 
<clears throat> now, if you're in, in severe backwoods and whatnot, yeah, I can understand that this being an issue if you're using this as a, a self-defense tool. But primarily, this is just a weapons carrier. It's not for what I guess you can call quick combat. If you really, really need your rifle, you should probably already have it out and ready. Uh, now, Everly Stock does make a larger weapons carrier. They have the Terminator, which fits the rifle straight into the backpack in between the frame and where you're carrying your gear. It's a, a, a self-contained area. And then you also have the Sky Crane and others where they have a full weapon scabber where you can fit a full 26 inch barrel bolt gun. Uh, I personally don't need it that right now, but I could definitely see how handy it would be to have a full right, length rifle on you. But keep in mind, if you're going with this backpack, I would I would go with an 11 and a half inch barrel or lower, unless you have a folding stock. Now the rifle itself can be cinched down with this strap. This keeps it from moving back and forth too much. And to be honest with you, when we were walking around today, I really didn't feel any weight whatsoever from the rifle. I couldn't feel it printing up against my back, and that's because of this nice plastic back sheet. It protects the wear from pretty much any type of issues you would have with a, a backpack that had less uh, padding on it. <clears throat> now, th this for me is primarily a range bag, but I also double it as a get home bag enough equipment and supplies to get you home from work or say you're out traveling. Now the S34 does have a lot of variation from the J34 that's a hunting pack. The hunting pack is what I call an all external idea. You can put your duffel bag on top, you can cinch it down. It's really not meant to keep this much stuff internally. This is an 1800 cubic inch pack. Uh, there's roughly about 30 pounds worth of gear in it right now, and it feels comfortable. I didn't have any back problems today, and we're in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, so it's it's pretty rough terrain. Now, in a, a few months, I'm going to be doing a gear review on this 11 and a half inch barrel AR. I put a lot of rounds through it so far. Uh, I've had no hiccups with it whatsoever, and it's actually a Franken gun. I built it myself. So, look forward to that in a few months, and thanks for watching. Now you obviously see I got toilet paper because I'm a pansy. I don't really like to stick a pine cone up my ass to try to... <coughs> wipe the crap off you. That was funny, I don't care who you say.